keep celebrating me. Howdy ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Here we are at Cars and Coffee here in Brisbane, Australia. Now it's been a while since I've done a car meet video, but that's because of lockdowns and stuff. This has been three months since I've posted my last Cars and Coffee video, which you can check out here. Now if you haven't seen my previous videos, there are some absolutely insane cars that rock up to these meets. Obviously, we got the beautiful Audi R8 V10 over here. We have plenty of old muscle, a lot of modern Europe, even old Euro. We got exotics down the end as well. If you guys have watched these videos in the past, you know these are my absolute favorite meats here in Brisbane. They're just pretty much the best meats. So if you live in Queensland, you definitely need to check out Cars and Coffee at Cooparoo. It's on the first Saturday of every month. We've got the beautiful Aston Martin. I believe that's the Vanquish coming up right there, which looks really good. We got the red Nissan 370Z paired up with a couple of Audis and an absolutely gorgeously specked out silver RX-7 over there. But if you guys didn't already know, the RX-7 is pretty much my most fangirl dream car. I say I don't want one, and then every time I see one, I wanna buy one. So the prices are obviously just skyrocketing at the moment with pretty much most cars out there, but they're just so goddamn good looking. Check out this absolutely insane looking ride. This is definitely something straight out of Japan. I love the style of this thing. Check out the inside. You got the driver's side there on the right, but you enter in on the left. You can't open that door over there. And check out the interior. This is fucking awesome. This is better by a million miles than the Nissan Cube. This is just so much better. Awesome looking car. We've got the Audi RS5. We've got the drop top Mustang, I believe. Yes, the drop top Mustang. And we got whatever this is. Now stop making fun of me because I don't know my muscle cars, unfortunately. But if you do know, just let me know down below in the comments. Check out this gorgeous Mustang going to a fluorescent McLaren 650S over here. Check out this absolute highlighter spec of a McLaren with the doors up. Looking really good, definitely a really good looking car here. Got the completely bagged out Audis over here. Looking really sick, literally just maybe an inch off the ground there. Got this beautiful SS Camaro in kind of this orange color as well, which looks absolutely insane. Take a peek at the engine bay as well. Got the Holden Monaro over here, and we got another Chevrolet SS over here as well. And we got quite a few, you know, cutting going into more of like the Euro section here. Got a Holden Tirana pulling in, Beamers on Beamers and just the odd red GTR poking out here. Pretty cool color. I don't know if I like this color, this red color more than like the metallic red. I'll put that on screen. You can compare, maybe let me know what you think. We've got the interesting spec down Civic Type R in this blue color, which is something that I haven't really seen before. We've got the Holden Tirana paired up next to it. Pretty cool color combination. We've got like the orange with the blue. And I like how the blue uh, Civic Type R as well has like red seats. Probably can't see it that well on the camera there. And I also do like the rims that are paired up with this color combo. Got the Chevrolet Stingray parked up right here and a couple of beautiful Porsches. I really like this one. We've seen this one on one of the previous videos. It's just something about this style. Just looks really, really cool. It's so old school. Here it is, the Porsche 1600. I just like the shape. It's an interesting shape. And we've got the Mustang over here in this kind of like interestingly green color. It looks really faded. I mean, it is a really old car, so you can't really blame it. We've got a couple of the Chryslers here. What are they called? I can't remember. They start, I think it's like a fire something. I can't remember. Actually, we've got three three of them. And you can see this one's paired up with the V8 Mercedes engine as well, which is pretty cool. I don't know if they come with that factory. I'm assuming they do. A little Fiat over here. And I absolutely love this Renault RS, probably the best color that's come out on like, you know, a new car in a long time. This orange in the sun really comes out amazing. We've got the Mustang 5.0 paired up next to it as well. And over here, we got the 90s Mitsubishi GTO paired up with the silver color. Always a big fan of the GTO. My father did own one. Well, he still kind of owns one. It's kind of wrecked. Wow, that's a story for another day. I do love these cars. I do believe it also has the four wheel steering. God, I love the Mitsubishi GTO. You're probably like, why are you calling it the GTO? Because it's called like something else in uh, America. I can't remember what it's called. It's like the, the Dodge Stealth or like the 3000 GT in America. But the Japan specs were the GTO. Check out this absolutely gorgeous 
Oh, I, this is just, I can't even speak. This thing is amazing. I love Fintail cars. They're some of my absolutely favorite styled cars. Cadillac has some amazing cars from there. It just looks awesome. And you've even got the matching blue interior as well, which I find really cool. We've got the white and black two-tone steering wheel. Got the absolutely stunning Evo over there. And we've got that gorgeous Cobra. We're gonna go and check that out. We've also got like a Suzuki Cappuccino over there as well. And absolute old Mercedes pulling in as well, which looks absolutely stunning. But check out this thing. This looks amazing. Now, when I first saw the Suzuki Cappuccino, it did have the roof off, so it has a removable roof, which is absolutely awesome. I love these cars. They weigh barely nothing. They are amazing. I think they're still pretty underappreciated. They're pretty, you know, their cars are still pretty affordable for what they are, and I think they're really cool. They're just so small. They're like literally half the size of a Miata, and these things absolutely rip with some suspension, good tires on a mountain. Got the Ferrari 488 pulling up to the meet as well. One of the many exotics that we're gonna be getting into later into the video. Check out these red Lancias right here. Absolute rally beast cars over here. Check out this one as well. These look awesome. Oh, look at that interior as well. That is a very clean looking interior. I'll have to take some photographs of that one later. And look at the other cars pulling in. What are these? These are fucking sick. Old school cars coming in here. Got the 5.0 Mustang chilling over here. And I wanted to check out this Volvo as well because I kind of like what's going on. Obviously, Obviously, it's an absolute full rust bucket spec, but it does look pretty cool, full of stickers, and it's even got a skeleton in the passenger seat just chilling over there. We got Baby Yoda, and we have just so many stickers going on. I feel like you could look at this car for so long and still find so many new things about it. Got the Porsche Carrera S over here, and we got another old school Porsche, an absolutely beautiful color over here. I really like this color, really suits this era of vehicle. And we got another Porsche over here. We got the BMW M3, we got the 240S. I mean, sorry, I'm using American terminology because I have to speak to Americans all the time for you. YouTube, but there's the 180SX chilling over there as well. Now check out the rear end on this thing. What the fuck is this? This is fucking cool. I really like the lines on this. It's very interesting. Take a look at the badge there. It's an Alfa Romeo. It has been solved. And we got a Ferrari Marinello. I believe the car is called the Ferrari Marinello. Really beautiful, gorgeous looking car over here. Absolutely stunning. Oh, I'm definitely taking a photo of this thing over here. And we got a bunch of JDM cars in there as well. Now we got some of my absolutely favorite cars coming up now because I am a JDM fangirl. Yes, comment down below if you're a JDM fangirl as well. We've got the Subaru WRX parked up there. Got a Lexus, got a little Mitsubishi. Got a clean S15 parked up over there as well. An Evo wagon. Check out that thing. That is a pretty damn good looking car. We've seen that Evo on the channel quite a few times already, but here is the Evo wagon. This is something I haven't seen before, and I think this looks pretty damn awesome. And it's even got the Tomei exhaust on the back, and it's not all bent up just like my one. Cool BMW in the yellow paint. We've seen this as well on another video. To be fair, if you were selling a Porsche, you'd think you would get the English right for sell. <laughs> now I know I said this was the JDM section of the meet, but it kinda is and it kinda isn't. We got a couple of American classics over here. Got the Dodge Charger RT paired up with this gorgeous blue Mustang. And check out the BMW with, I love this like clamshell designed hood. And have a peek at the engine bay as well. Got another red Mustang paired up next to it. And we got the full, I believe Duke of Hazard spec'd out Dodge Charger as well, which looks really cool. Got a couple of, I believe, Mazda Speed 3s over there. Got this absolutely stunning Camaro. Check out this Subaru. Now, these are going up quite a lot in price. I believe this is the WRX STI, which is the top, top of the line spec. Now, these are going up pretty ballistic in price, if I'm gonna be honest with you, and probably for good reason. Is that exhaust bigger than mine? No, I don't think it is, but it nearly was. I got concerned there for a minute, because it's like, you can't have people having bigger exhausts than me. It's not quite fair. And I do 
really like the hood on this. I'm not really a fan of carbon fiber hoods, but this kind of works, I guess, because it always works on white cars, given that it's like kind of like a full Panda spec. We got the R33 as well in this like baby blue kind of color as well, which looks pretty cool. We got my car just parked up over there. And now we move on to more of the exotics of the meat, starting off with a Ferrari Roma. Now this is in like a silver color, kind of like a gun metal, but it kind of has a different hue to it. Kind of have to be there in real life to see. It's kind of a cool color, not too bad. Move on to the beautiful Ferrari 812 Superfast. Now, these things are absolute beasts, but now next to it, I actually think I like this Ferrari model quite a lot more because when I saw this pull into the meat, I was very impressed with the design. This thing looks absolutely stunning. Now, I have had a brain fart and I don't really remember the model of this one, but I love the rear opening. We got the Lamborghini Gallardo pucks up here. And now, guys, something that you probably like, oh, well, that's just a Corvette Z06, but here in Australia, we just don't really get Corvettes like you guys over in America. So this is a really, really big deal for us here in Australia. This is fucking awesome. I can really understand the Corvette hype you guys have in America. These cars are fucking beautiful. I really love this like maroon color as well that's been paired up with it. We got the Aston Martin pulling out of the meat as well. Beautiful Porsche parked up next to it. Got the Ferrari 458 pulled up into the meat. Oh my God. I don't even care about all these other cars now because now the Murcielago has pulled up to the meet. Now, if you guys don't know, this is my all-time dream car. And one day, it is coming on the channel. One day, Murcielago will be on the channel. I do promise that. I don't know how long it's going to take. Take probably a pretty long time. But check out this thing. I've always wanted to see this car in person. We've got the slotted rotors. And most importantly, we got the manual V12 Lamborghini. The last manual V12s to ever be made from Lamborghini. Absolutely stunning car. Now, this I do believe is like the base uh, Mercia Lago that's put the full SV kit onto it. Now I do really like it actually. I'm usually not really a fan of the rear bumper on the SVs but due to like it's being carbon fiber and everything I think it kind of works with the red paint scheme and I actually don't mind it. I think that looks pretty damn good but there we go. We've got the AMG GTR pulled up over there. We've got the 488 Pista and I actually saw this on a tow truck the other day but this absolutely <laughs> stunningly specked out Lamborghini SVJ in this really unique color that I don't think really the camera does justice. It's kind of like this cyan, I, I really couldn't, it's kind of close to cyan. It's probably the best color I could give you. Similar to like the Porsche um, blue color as well that you see over there. We got the BMW, it's the 8 series. I do know that, I do really like these. I think they come with like a V12 engine, some of the models, like the, the M8s. Got a couple of the Lotus Exiges pulled up here as well, which always look pretty nice. And a Camaro over there as well. Yet again, you guys in America are like, well, it's just a Camaro, but here in Australia, nothing's just an American car. It's a big deal, okay? We don't get, we get, I see more Camaros more often than Corvettes. Like they're here every now and then, but the Corvettes you definitely don't see very much of. Now here we'll have a peek at the Ferrari's engine bay. Take a look at that over there. Absolutely stunning. And one thing that is very interesting is check out the sidewall on those tires. What does it say? That is a 22570. That is an absolute huge sidewall for this vehicle. But there is the engine bay on the Ferrari. Check out this absolutely insane Bentley. Now this is an insane spec. I absolutely love this thing. I have no idea where he's going to park. I think he's going to park over there. But this thing is absolutely stunning. One of the best Bentley models to probably come out. It looks I just said it like eight times, but it does look absolutely stunning. Got a couple more cars chilling over here, more of like the Euro cars. I do see the bright orange Lexus, which does look awesome, but we got the two Aston Martins here. Clearly the Vanquish there. I believe that's the oldest style of the Vanquish. Pretty cool. But the Volkswagen GTI chilling, but the two RS3s, I believe. They're pretty cool. I do like the one that says Advive. The bag suspension looks good on any car, as we all know. Got the beautiful red Porsche as well. Love that kind of side exhaust that's popping out right there and absolutely stunning that's a spirit r type a rx7 pulling in oh my god we probably going to need to get a closer look at that car because you know i'm the biggest fan girl when it comes to an rx7 but that thing looks absolutely stunning but the wow oh, it's a perfect spec subaru wrx in my opinion the blue with the gold wheels got the old merc dipping from the meat got kind of like a gold colored mustang and i could probably just stand here and talk about all the cars pulling into the meat as well got the subaru wagon now as well don't forget i will be posting the as you heard, the pulls of the meat as well. So do stay tuned for all the pulls at the end of the meat. That I think 
was that BMW, which did sound pretty fucking mean. But the another BMW, dude, it's the BMW gang pulling in over here. But the E92, which I do think is a pretty damn nice style. Got another Evo wagon parked up over here with a bunch of Audis and the Volkswagen R. Oh, look at that. Perfect spec S2000 in the yellow. I love that color. Looks absolutely gorgeous. And here we got everyone's favorite car, the Toyota Supra on some pretty interesting rims. I do kind of like what they've done with like the massive needle out the lug nuts. They don't actually really come out past the wheel, which is definitely helpful because it's so deep dish. Definitely an awesome looking car when you see it in the flesh. And probably one of the coolest things as well is the aftermarket tail lights. They always do look so good on the Supras as well. Huge exhaust in true super fashion. Oh, we got the boys in blue pulling up to the meet today. Absolutely stunning rotary coming into the meet. Such a unique and distinctive sound on those rotary engines. Got the white 370Z parked up over here, and we're gonna go around that corner, check out all the cars there, and I think we'll be probably be done getting a general idea of the car meet, and then we'll go and post the pools. The hidden section of the meet coming in clutch. We got the BMW M3, we got the Jaguar, we got this awesome looking Ford that I do have no idea what it is. We got the Skyline 370 here, which actually looks really good. I do love this style of car. Would probably really like to get one. It's just gonna be too similar of a platform to the 350s they already have. We got the GR Supra here. We got the Hyundai i30 yen. We got the new and we got the old. If I had to pick, it looks like this one does look better. I mean, that looks, I don't know. I literally cannot pick between the two. This definitely looks better. I think more modern, but I think this looks better from the back. I think this has a weird dimension. I don't know. I don't know how to word it. My English is terrible. Make fun of it in the comments down below. <laughs> got an interesting colored wrap on this Hyundai over here. We've got the cool plate popping because that's all these things can do. But seriously, it is a pretty cool color. It's something unique. Got the Subaru WRX parked up over here. And it's very, is this black? Yes, it is black. It was just a reflection of the wall over there. I thought it was like some special color and absolutely stunning Mazda RX-7. You know this thing is an absolute track weapon. When you see some Michelins up on the front, 255 and 275, these are actually the exact same tires that I'm going to be buying for the Z, the Pilot Sport 4 S. I'm going to be getting the S as these, but there's the exact specs of a width. It's actually really good to see them in person to kind of get an idea of how big my tires are going to be. I think they're going to fit perfectly fine. There's going to be no issues with fitting these on. I could fit bigger ones on, but due to my rims, that's probably the safest, biggest limit I could go with. Put the 86 over here, and we also got the R33 Skyline, which is pretty cool as well. The one that is slept on, but is not really slept on anymore because the prices of everything has just gone ballistic. That It has the Skyline name. It's gone absolutely ballistic. Now we got the Toyota Crown over here. Check this thing out. I do want to get a VIP car, so just stay tuned for it. There will be one on the channel one day, a VIP car. I'm not capping. That's gonna be my next car. I'm not selling the Z, so don't worry. But I will be getting a VIP car. It won't be a Toyota Crown but I'm not gonna tell you what it is, so yeah. Now this is a car I absolutely love. Not too many people know about it, not too many people appreciate it, but it is the Toyota Sora. I just love the way these things look, and especially the rear end of these cars, I feel like is just so special. These are kind of like, almost look a little bit like a Sylvia, obviously a lot more boxy, but I do really love the style of these cars. My dad did own a Sora at one stage as well. It was nothing like this one, it was the more modern, curvier version, but it is an absolutely beautiful car well as you can hear it sounds like we have a squad coming in we got a green lamborghini a green bentley we got the maserati pulling in and we got another fluoro highlighter hurricane that is an interesting set of cars i'm definitely going to go and check out that green bentley because that is a spec that I have not ever seen before. I totally just skipped over the seller car, but unfortunately, Green Bentley, that's pretty fucking sick. So I'm gonna go check that out. I'll teleport there for you guys right now. There she is, the green Lambo. Head up with a very interesting car at the meet here today. We got a green Bentley, which is something we definitely don't see every day. I think this is an absolutely awesome spec. Is it like a metallic green? It's more of a flat green, but it is a pretty interesting spec. I said that about eight times because it is. You don't see Bentleys in green. And we got the fluoro highlighter hurricane behind it as well. I wonder where they're pulling in. I hope they're pulling into that section. Yep, there is. So let's go suss it out again and I'll teleport once again. Alrighty, we're going straight to the end of the road to post all the pulls. I'm gonna be setting up two cameras for the pulls. Holy shit, 
look what we have here pulling into the mate. That is absolutely stunning. Is to be coming into the meet today, but as we can see, we got the 812 super fast and the 488 piece to coming in. This thing sounds absolutely ballistic. That sounds fucking insane.
that's going to be it for me today. I'm going to be doing a first call as I leave, as always. I think the best sounding car by far was definitely that Aventador SVJ. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching today's video. And let's just jump right into the call.